If any of you see me, catch me, not returning my cart where it belongs after I'm done grocery shopping, you have my permission to shame me. Publicly shame me. Make, make me the face of hypocrisy online. <laughs> Imagine going to your favorite grocery store. You grab a shopping cart, you go inside, you walk around for 30 minutes, 45, maybe an hour. You take your cart to the cashier, you buy all your stuff, you get to your car, you unload your stuff into your car, and the second you do that, you have a problem. What do you do with your shopping cart? The answer to that will determine whether or not you are a good person or a menace to society. I'd like to talk about the shopping cart theory. If you don't know what that is, it's been circulating around the Twitterverse. The shopping cart theory describes the difference between people who take their shopping carts back and people who leave it in the middle of the freaking parking lot. I actually have footage that I caught on my dash cam of somebody ditching their cart, their shopping cart. I don't know if it's just New Jersey, but I haven't had a dash cam that long, and I already have enough footage to make a one hour long dumb driver compilation. Like seriously, New Jersey, you need to chill the fuck out. I moved to New Jersey, you, you people are crazy on the road, and I'm becoming one of you, and I don't like it. I'm gonna show you the, the footage I have of the person ditching their cart on my dash cam. I'll show you that footage in a minute. I just wanna read to you what the shopping cart theory is. Uh, the shopping cart is the ultimate litmus test for whether a person is capable of self-governing. To return the shopping cart is objectively right. You must return the shopping cart because it is the right thing to do because it is correct. A person who is unable to do this is no better than an animal. An absolute savage who can only be made to do what is right by threatening them with a law and the force that stands behind it. The shopping cart is what determines whether a person is a good or bad member of society. Here's the clip of the person I caught on my dash cam ditching their cart. Okay, so we see this gentleman here. Uh, he just loaded up his car and it looks like he's going to take his cart back to where it belongs. Yes, he is. That's a good member of society. Oh, 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 so sneaky. Oh, I saw something that really pissed me off the other day. I actually saw an abandoned cart, but it wasn't just an abandoned cart. Somebody left their disposable, their used disposable glove in the cart. A lot of grocery stores, they give you disposable gloves to use when you enter. Someone had taken them off, all sweaty, gross, disposable gloves and just left them in their abandoned cart. That person's a piece of shit in my opinion. Like, if you care about essential workers, but then in real life you act like a selfish asshole abandoning your cart. Ever since I moved to New Jersey, I feel like I'm becoming more and more of an asshole. <laughs> New Jerseyans are angry all the time and in a hurry. I don't get it. All the New Jerseyans are gonna be pissed. Ooh, an angry New Jerseyan. No one's ever seen that before. The shopping cart theory. What, what do you think? Do you think that this is a good test? Because I, I, I get it. Do good things when there's no reward, when there's no credit, when, when nobody will notice you, nobody will thank you, nobody will ever know the good deed that you did. Nobody will ever punish you for not doing it either. All that's gonna happen is uh, an essential employee is gonna have to put it away. That's it. You don't have to do shit. Are you capable of self-governing? The main question. People who can self-govern, they don't need to be governed. I think that that's most of us. Call me naive. Call me, you know, the the rainbows and daisy dreamer. I don't know. I like to tend to think that most people will do the right thing. That's why most of the carts get put back and only a handful are scattered around the parking lot. Those are the people that I guess need to maybe grow up a little bit, maybe need to reevaluate who they are and how they treat society. I don't know. It's just so frustrating that every good deed I do gets undone by someone else who decides to just be just thoughtless. And I know I'm, I, I sound like a self-righteous asshole right now, but if any of you see me, catch me not returning my cart where it belongs after I'm done grocery shopping, you have my permission to shame me, publicly shame me. Make, make me the face of hypocrisy online. <laughs>